Hello everyone, welcome to Bar Tales. Today we are going to talk about another very serious disease of dog that is infectious hepatitis in dogs, which is also called adenovirus infection. Hepatitis is a liver inflammation disease and infectious canine hepatitis is a specific viral infection which is caused by adenovirus family. It means that infectious canine hepatitis can affect other dog breeds like foxes, otters and bears but it is harmless to humans. The virus targets the spleen, kidney, lungs, liver, blood vessel lining and other organs. Symptoms can range from fever, thirst, apathy to death. Chronic hepatitis is associated with infectious canine hepatitis, indicating that the liver has become inflamed and necrosis has occurred. Predisposition to this disease is common in breeds like Springer Spaniels, Beagles, Martis, West Highland White Terriers, Cocker Spaniels, Labrador Retrievers, Bedlington Terriers, Sky Terriers, Doberman Pinschers, and Standard Poodles. Chronic hepatitis can result from an accumulation of copper in the liver cell which can damage the liver cell and lead to severe chronic hepatitis if left untreated. Now we see what are the causes of this infection. Canine hepatitis is a viral infection that is primarily transmitted through the consumption of infected dog's nasal discharge, saliva, feces, and urine. The virus is present in urine and nose and eye discharge of infected animal and is transmitted through direct contact. Young dogs are at the highest risk and signs usually appear within 2-5 to five days. The incubation period can be up to 14 days. In older dogs, some infectious canine hepatitis infectious may go unnoticed or resolve without medical intervention. Now we see what are the clinical signs and symptoms associated with this disease. The symptoms of infectious canine hepatitis include a slight fever, low white blood cell count, congestion of mucous membrane, severe reduction in white blood cell, apathy, vomiting, abdominal pain, severe depression, watery discharge, yellow joint disappearance, and a swollen belly filled with fluid. In severe cases, symptoms include bruised or reddened nose and mouth, swelling, red dots on skin, seizures, and death. Very young dogs have the highest mortality rate for canine hepatitis. The first sign of infection is a high fever which is higher than 104 degree Fahrenheit and lasts between 1 to 6 days. Vet may notice a low white blood cell count and short fever as a clue to the infection. If fever progresses past one day, other symptoms may also appear, such as enlarged on cells or inflamed eyes. Brain damage can lead to seizures for severely infected dogs and bleeding in brain may cause light paralysis. While routine vaccinations are rare, owner must remain vigilant as the disease can develop and progress quickly in both puppies and dogs. Diagnosis and treatment involve laboratory tests, blood tests, and immunofluorescence scanning. Chronic hepatitis can be diagnosed before symptoms develop and a liver biopsy can determine the severity and type of liver disease. Now we see what is the treatment of this disease. Canine hepatitis is a viral infection that cannot be treated with antibiotic because they are ineffective against viruses but may help treat secondary bacterial infection. Treatment aims to reduce symptoms and allow the dog's immune system to respond, including hospitalization, intravenous fluids, and medication. The infectious canine hepatitis vaccine is routinely administrated in puppy vaccination programs and the American Animal Hospital Association recommends vaccinating all dogs every three years against infectious canine hepatitis with an approved vaccine. Now we see how we can prevent our dogs from catching this disease. Preventing canine hepatitis involves a mandatory vaccine typically given 7 to 9 weeks of age followed by booster injections at 11 to 13 weeks. Dogs should receive booster injections throughout their life with another at 15 months and each year to prevent infection. The prognosis for dogs with chronic hepatitis is uncertain as they may experience immune complex reactions that can cause cornea clouding and kidney damage long term. While some cases of acute hepatitis can be cured, chronic hepatitis cannot be cured. Dogs with chronic hepatitis require monitoring and treatment to enjoy a good quality of life and longevity with minimal clinical signs. So that was all about infectious canine hepatitis which is also called adenovirus infection. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो